Hi, I'm Jamie Allen, Director of Education for the Dallas Symphony Orchestra. Welcome to the Meyerson Symphony Center. We're looking forward to seeing you here this weekend for Divine Dvorak. On the program is Dvorak's Seventh Symphony and Dvorak's Cello Concerto. Now, the Seventh Symphony you may not be as familiar with as the New World Symphony. That's the one that everybody thinks of and has a lot of great popularity in terms of Dvorak. But the Seventh Symphony is the one that musicians really love to play. You know, if I were on a deserted island and I had to choose one composer, I've often thought that I probably would choose Dvorak because his range is so enormous. He can go from the most majestic, cosmic kind of sounds to the most intimate. He can range from angst to joy. He's got dance. He's got stories. It's, he's just a wonderful composer to really live with and to wrap yourself around. So you see all of that in the Seventh Symphony glorious melodies, rich orchestrations, and you could tell that he spent so much time just lovingly crafting every single note. Sometimes it almost feels like chamber music, it's so intimate. The Seventh Symphony was written as a commission by the London Philharmonic Society back in the late 19th century. London was a god over Dvorak. He had visited there a couple of times and they just loved his music, so they commissioned him to write this symphony. One of the interesting personal things that happened in Dvorak's life that led to the symphony was the fact that his mother, with whom he was very, very close, died shortly before he started writing it. Unfortunately, that was a, a you know intense personal tragedy for him, but it ended up being a tremendous boon for the symphonic literature. We have the cello concerto. Now, Narakak Nazarian is an interesting young man. He's a student still at the New England Conservatory, and he went to the Tchaikovsky International Competition, and he won gold medal 2011. Nobody expected him to. In fact, the Russian conductor that he was playing for when he first got there made a disparaging comment to the orchestra saying, you know, there's this young guy, he's from some small Armenian town, don't pay any attention to what he's doing, let's just play this piece the way it was written. Well, when Haknazarian got up there, they realized, oh, this is a musician of stature to be reckoned with. He has an intense uh, a personal take on all of his music, again, lovingly shaped notes, and, uh, and the cello concerto, the Dvorak concerto, concerto is actually arguably the finest cello concerto in the entire repertoire. The role that the orchestra plays in the Dvorak concello concerto is not just an accompanist, it's actually a full partner, and you have this wonderful dialogue between the solo cellist and the orchestra. At the beginning, you get these wonderful melodies and these themes, and they are presented almost stately and lightly, but when they get into the cello, the hands of a solo cellist, it's like they become intensely personal. To me, it's a lot like reading a novel, and you, you are introduced to the, the characters in the story originally, but then you start getting behind the skin, and you realize what, really what makes them tick and what motivates those characters. That's when the solo cellist really gets to work with those melodies. Very similar kind of feel. So you'll really enjoy that, uh, that wonderful dialogue between the two. It's a fa fantastic piece. Again, one of the best in the repertoire. Uh, make sure that you come an hour early uh, because Joelle Wallach from Carnegie Hall will be giving our uh, prelude lecture that night and she has wonderful insights about this piece. So if you want to learn more, come at 7 o'clock or an hour before the performance. Um, and I look forward to seeing you here for Divine Dvorak with the Dallas Symphony Orchestra in the Meyerson Symphony Center.